James Melendez, thank you for joining me today. I have not done a coffee review in some time, so I'm excited about this review. This is Lavazza's Oro. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about one of my favorite coffees. So this is a nice package to have. This is an old time producer in Torino, uh, Piemonte in Italia in Italy. And so they've been around since 1895. This particular blend has been around since 1956. So this is a time tested blend that they've been doing for quite some time. It's a nice package. And so this definitely has that representation of being what you would term qualita oro, meaning the gold quality, perfect symphony, which it truly is. And the packaging is a nice, uh, you know, first of all, this was a gift from my friend Jenny. Thank you, Jenny, so much. I do appreciate it if you're watching this video. And it's a remarkable thing to have, something I enjoy every single day of my life. And uh, what I find fascinating is, um, you know, I enjoy coffee every single day. I make coffee every single day, but somehow my palate has a different experience almost every day. And some days, uh, you know, really optimum experience. And so, I, you know, it's definitely not the coffee. It is my palate. So coffee is even better on Saturday and Sunday. I'm not sure why. And uh, yes, I use the same amount every day. I use a Chemex to brew the coffee, but it definitely comes out differently. So I like here, it shows that this is a medium intensity. So for me, I'm a medium roast kind of guy, unless it's espresso, which I definitely would actually consider medium roast for espresso. And it doesn't have to be black or burnt, but definitely has characterization, which is coffee definitely has. Now this is roasted and processed in Settimo Torinese, which is a city near Torino. And Torino is the headquarters of Lavazza. And I've been there, I'm lucky to put foot on ground. I didn't visit the producer themselves. Um, I was only a few blocks away, but of course when you're traveling, it's hard to see everything. Now this is having primarily Central and South American beans, 100% Arabica beans. And so you're gonna find here uh, the nice indicators and uh, I'll, I'll actually post a picture right here so you can see what this looks like and you can see what I'm looking at. And I don't know how long this has been on the package, so this has been around since um, you know, 1956, this particular blend. And I think that's a uh, testimony that they're still doing it today. And they really have, you know, have the keys on producing a finely crafted, uh, beautiful coffee. And so this is showing a roasting profile medium. And it's something, that, again, I very much enjoy. And intensity is five. Also, the altitude on this is 600 meters above sea level, which is about 5,200 feet above sea level. So all around, this produces a fantastic cup of coffee and something that I very much enjoy. Also, when I just look at how well it's actually ground, I'm glad that they're doing it and I'm not doing that. Somehow, no matter how much of a nice grinder that I have for my coffee, it's never quite this well done. And that does play in terms of how you're producing your coffee at your own home. The nice fine grinding to this really allows each capture of the water molecule to go through and soak through and uh, brew the wonderful coffee that you're receiving. I very much enjoy a nice ceramic. So this is done in a very mid-century modern style. This is from Heath Ceramics in uh, San Francisco Bay Area, Sausalito to be precise. And I like the color inside. It's like this aquamarine color against this uh, nice brown colorization. Tasting this black, which you should do occasionally. Sure, you enjoy this with milk, of course, and that's how your preference is. That's how you should enjoy your coffee. I do so just because I really want to taste the base coffee. If you're tasting through with nut milks, you're not really always tasting the coffee itself in terms of what the characterization is. So sometimes you want to taste it on its own and then add your nut milk or your dairy milk to the coffee that you're serving up for yourself and maybe for your family. So uh, let's talk about uh, this in terms of the aroma. So the aroma on this is aged firewood, cinnamon stick, mineral, a bit of uh, what I call the pine nut uh, shells roasting. And what I mean by that is as a youngster, I would uh, you know get some pine nuts and be able to roast them. And that's the best way to taste that. It leaves a really wonderful, uh, warm, wintry smell, as well as uh, chocolate notation, dark chocolate. Fantastic. Next, the palate characterization. Now, because this is medium roast, I'm tasting the coffee fully, completely. If it's a darker roast, and that's where I get, get to be very much the critic, a darker roast can actually burn away some of that flavor and maybe just give a darker notation of just burnt characterization versus a full body coffee and tasting the full spectrum of what you get. So in this coffee, I'm getting notes of clove, spice rack, dried citrus, and a hint of cocoa powder. This is 95 points out of 100 points. 
old timey brand, been around a long time, and there's a good reason why. So, you know, give yourself a gift of Oro Qualita Perfect Symphony. Stay tuned for more reviews to come. And I'll place the other reviews of Lavazza Coffee right up here. And I'd appreciate your support. So give a like to this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And if you've already done so, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And also uh, ask a question, comment down below or on the social medias that I'm on, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Also more information on the producer will be listed down below. So thank you for your support and I will see you in the next video. Salute.